Hey everybody, good morning. Chase here. I want to give you guys a tour of our Camp Easy Easy Clever 4x4 vehicle. Uh, we went with uh, Camp Easy just because of the fact that they're one of the only 4x4 rental companies here in Iceland that do campers. And I wanted to give you guys a brief tour of where we've been living over the past couple of weeks. First off with the van itself, it is a Volkswagen uh, Transporter 4x4. It's relatively new, about 35,000 miles on it. And uh, it's been great. Uh, we were able to go through the whole island of Iceland without any difficulty. Snow, sleet, mud, rough roads, everything that we could throw at it, it did it without difficulty whatsoever. So big props to Volkswagen for making a good van and Camp Easy for modifying it. Uh, and they did modify it and we're gonna give you a tour on the inside. But first, I just wanna give you guys a, a, a tour here on the outside. As you can see, they put customized rims on it uh, to give it a little bit more rigidity, as well as winter tires. Now, there are some winter tires that you can get that have studs. These don't because this is a four by four, uh, but it's it's really great. And so, so uh, now we're gonna take you on a tour of the inside. All right, so here's the inside uh, in the back here of our Camp Easy van. And the first thing you're gonna notice is there's doors on both sides. We only use the door on the side that you're looking at now, uh, just because the entryway is a little bit easier to get in and out of. And we just use this, this storage area here uh, just to put extra things down here in this gully and we just kept this door shut. Uh, but inside, uh, you do get a refrigerator. Uh, and the, the neat thing about the back compartment is it has its own electrical system. So underneath the benches, there are two uh, huge 14 volt marine batteries that are charged when the car is on. So when you're driving around the island, uh, it keeps these batteries fresh and charged because that is what's going to power the refrigerator as well as the pump and the heater. And we'll go over the heater in a second. Uh, but first here is the refrigerator. We kept it at about 33 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, inside, uh, that is the space that you get. We kept uh, eggs up here in the upper compartment and down here in the lower compartment, we kept other perishables like uh, butter and jelly uh, and other types of things. Uh, basically, we powered this up during the day and we turned it off at night, uh, yet for the couple of nights, uh, past few nights, we just left it on as well and it handled it just fine. Uh, here is a digital readout that keeps uh, an eye on those batteries. So right now the car is not on, so it's showing a 13.3. You get a 12 volt uh, socket as well as a one amp and a two amp uh, USB plugs. Uh, here is the control for the heater. Uh, the heater here is uh, really great. Uh, it uses the diesel fuel and it runs off of those two batteries. So the, the good news is you're not gonna drain your main car battery and get stranded somewhere because you left the heater on or you left the refrigerator on. No big deal there. Uh, but this works extremely well. Uh, we turned it on usually and when it gets really cold and then we went kind of halfway uh, at night uh, once the, the, the camper got uh, heated. The, the drain and the sink, here's where we did our dishes and everything. The water would drain straight down. Uh, there is no gray water tank. And as you can see, it does a great job and I'll show you uh, the tank. Here in the back here, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of what our sleeping arrangements is. This is what you basically call the day mode. We have all of our bags packed here. We're getting ready to leave today. Uh, but here they provide all of the bedding that you need, sheets and duvets, uh, but you can also store items underneath each uh, bench here. Uh, so you have a, a good amount of space to put bags and other necessities. Uh, also here up front, I forgot to mention, they also provide inside here uh, plates, pots, pans, basically everything that you need uh, to cook, uh, which is great. Also down here in this container, uh, yes, alcohol, uh, but here down here uh, we have a burner as well and we're going to donate the extra food. Uh, we did a Costco run and man, uh, we didn't need to do as much as we did. Uh, but I will now show you the other side uh, where the water tank is. So here is the water tank. Uh, it's also powered by that same 12 volt battery pack. And basically uh, every couple of days, uh, depending on how much water we used, uh, this whole container comes out. Uh, you detach the hose, you detach the power, and then you just fill up this tank up to here. It's got its own built-in pump. 
Uh, and like I said, it's really easy. Uh, here's also an, uh, an easier, a uh, cleaner view of our sh uh, seating arrangements and area. You also get an LED light, uh, and you also have all these curtains that will help block out all the windows. Uh, if there is a, a minor thing about the, the curtains, the curtains are nice, but they're not fully blackout curtains. So uh, if you really want it to get dark, maybe I, I would recommend an eye mask or something along those lines, but you do get plenty of space. They say that this could sleep three, uh, but I would say maybe two adults and a kid or someone really small. Uh, but yeah, definitely be careful. And then here is the, uh, the vent here. This is where the heat uh, comes out. Um, of the, the web basto unit. And, and it, like I said, it works extremely well. Uh, here's the back of our unit. Uh, I just wanted to show you the back just because you also get a full spare. Uh, you do have to change your own tire if you, you do have a tire difficulty, uh, but they also give you a run flat kit and uh, then they will help set you up to get your tire repaired at a re re repair depot. We didn't have to worry about that obviously, but it's also good to have that peace of mind that you get a full spare just in case uh, you need to, to deal with it at all. Uh, it works great. So I, I talked about the space underneath the benches inside the van, but you also get some space in the back. The only unfortunate thing is in the back, it's not accessible from the inside. So if you need to get inside or get to this extra space area, you have to come to the back, open up the doors. But as you can see, you can hold basically two carry-on size bags. We also kept our big duffels back there from time to time. You also get your the jack kit uh, for the tires as well. Uh, but it does a, a really good job of giving you some extra space if you need it. Uh, but I would highly recommend putting stuff back here that you don't really need to access very often uh, just because of the fact that you can't get to it from the inside. And obviously with Iceland being cold, uh, you uh, may not want to come back here very often to get to those things. So in conclusion, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody there at Camp Easy. They're not paying for this video at all. This is just a, a purely objective review of the equipment and the company. I got to say, as far as the company goes, they've been very communicative, very friendly. Uh, the cool thing also I want to uh, mention is if you have any extra food or if you forgot to pick something up, they have this really, you know, like kind of a leave and take uh, open pantry, if you will. As you saw, we have a lot of extra food. And so what we're going to do is donate it to Camp Easy where other campers can use that extra food. Uh, but obviously uh, they have great deals and specials, especially in the off season. Uh, if you're thinking about coming here during the summer, definitely book ahead in advance. The camping industry here in Iceland is huge. There are multiple companies. Uh, definitely do your research and homework. Uh, but I got to say Camp Easy has been phenomenal. They've been great. Another thing I forgot to mention is they provide a, a tablet that also can double as a hotspot that helps you find all the closest campsites, both for winter and summer, points of interest, gas stations, basically anything that you're looking for, they help provide that as well. But I gotta say a big thanks again uh, to Camp Easy for their awesome customer service. And really, uh, they've been great. Uh, if you have any questions about our adventure, about Camp Easy, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.